do hey hey George Washington. Hey hey George Washington, don't despair. Sure, them wooden teeth are tough to bear. And Valley Forge ain't no picnic man. But heck, grin and bear it best you can. Cause Martha will be arriving soon. You'll be whistling a different tune. When she makes her way to Valley Forge, then you will see who the boss is, George. <laughs> She'll find a ton of chores for you, heck. And George, you'll be feeling like a wreck. But soon you'll get over it, man. In the meantime, work on a game plan. In the end, it's all going to work out. Because, Georgie boy, you've still got the clout. On first possession by a TD, your Patriots will win in OT. <laughs> you've lots of fans out there, Georgie boy. So there ain't no need to play it coy. But watch out for them bad apples still. Some of them are like a bitter pill. A close eye on Ben Arnold, George Keaton. He's such a scoundrel, a real creep. For the highest bid, he'll sell his soul. But in the end, he'll sure pay the toll. Banish that traitor, George, to Fort Lee. Ban him from the GWB. <laughs> Make him live out his days in Jersey. It'll make him want to climb a tree. When they write history books, Georgie, they're going to bring up that cherry tree that you took the rap for chopping down. Man, it sure sounds like you went to town. What did you say to your dad, golly, when you found your ax next to that tree? You say your dad let you off scot-free? You have an alibi, Georgie. We all know you never tell a lie. You looked your old man straight in the eye. Then, Georgie boy, did you admit it? Blow me down, you said. Popeye did it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, George Washington, don't despair. Sure, them wooden teeth are tough to bear. And Valley Forge ain't no picnic hell. But that ain't how that cherry tree fell. <laughs> Okay, let's bring back Richard Nixon. He's uh, become relevant these days. See what he's been up to. Hey, hey, Richard Nixon. Hey, hey, Richard Nixon, where are you now? You say that you've taken your final bow, that this time you mean it unlike before? We won't have you to kick around no more. You'd such talent, Dickie boy, it ain't fair. None knew better how to bait and to scare. You could talk out of both sides of your mouth. You'd one message for the North, one for the South. You sure knew how to pick a running mate. Someone you could bank on who was third rate. Spiro Agnew left the pundits in shock. Each one of them you faked out of his jock. <laughs> No stauncher anti-communist, pray tell. Was there Dickie boy you gave them Red's hell? You were top gun, used every dirty trick. You surely made Joe McCarthy proud, Dick. <laughs> in that kitchen debate, you came out best. Sticking your finger right in Khrushchev's chest. You made old Nikita flinch by golly. The film clip Dickie was one big folly. Dickie boy, hypocrisy was your creed. Truth was, you were a pragmatist indeed. I admit, you surely deserve a bow. Hell, none other could have made peace with Mao. <coughs> I'm still P.O.'d at you because I missed making it on to your enemies list. <laughs> Dickie, why on earth did you leave me out? Tell me it was an oversight, no doubt. Anyhow, the plumbers I really dug. They sure could sweep the dirt under the rug. <laughs> Dickie, they weren't your typical geeks. Hell, none were very good at plugging leaks. But Dickie boy, Watergate topped them all. In retrospect, was a god-awful call. Your team didn't have its back to the wall. You should have just bunted the frickin' ball. Looking back, Dickie, you bet. You did some bad stuff. You wanted folks to think that you were tough. 
But I recall one nice thing that you did, giving that cute dog checkers to your kids. <laughs>